Uh, Thanksgiving. It's this Thursday. Thanksgiving is on Thursday. And, um, you know, I, I really feel like throughout this entire pandemic, we should have just canceled all the holidays. We should have said, stay put, you know, have your quarantine and, and stay within your quarantines. Because every single time we've had a holiday and we've, we've let it kind of carry on like normal, like, it, they're, like we're not in a fucking pandemic. The numbers go up. Um, Easter, after Easter, people attended. The people attended Easter service. They decided to go see family during Easter. Uh, numbers went up uh, two weeks later. You know, like a week later, we started finding out more cases were coming up. More deaths came up. Um, over the summer, we had Memorial Day. People wanted to do backyard barbecues. Numbers went up. Uh, people wanted to do Fourth of July. Numbers went up. People couldn't even give a fucking bike rallies in this country. And now they're now they're contract tracing. Uh, and finding out like how many people these folks at the biker rallies in Sturgis uh, infected when they went home. We have seen holiday after holiday, big event after big event, um, cause these surges in cases, in deaths of COVID-19. Um, and yet... When it came to the rest of the holidays, uh, the government didn't know how to handle it. I've said this before. We knew that there was going to be a second wave and possibly even a third since July. The WHO came out and said that we're going to see one in October, November. In July, they said this. And yet... Uh, the United States government and the United States people, uh, well, I, I, won't, I won't say all people, but a good amount of people decided to carry on as if we weren't in a global pandemic. In May and June, we were seeing countries like Denmark, like Norway, uh, there were various other European countries um, that were essentially coming out. New Zealand, Australia, um, you know, that, that were coming out of their first wave and were able to resume a semblance of normalcy. And what do I mean by a semblance of normalcy? Um, I mean, uh, you know, people were able to go and do some form of gathering. Now, over the summer and into the beginning of fall, America did the same thing, but America was still seeing case after case. Hospitals weren't being overloaded as much as they are now or in the very beginning of this pandemic, but we were still seeing a couple hundred cases a day over the summer, especially surrounding holidays, right? Like, that was the thing that was happening. And yet we couldn't come up with a plan to say, okay, this thing doesn't seem to be going away. The WHO said that there's going to be some shit coming up in October, November. Why don't we make a plan so that we don't overwhelm our healthcare system? A capitalist run insurance based healthcare system that is no longer able to take care of its people. We didn't make a plan for that. We didn't say anything about it. We just kind of pretended like things were going to be normal. And we dropped our guard, the numbers went up, you know, difficult conversations needed to be had because even people that were being responsible started acting in an irresponsible manner. And now here we are, Thanksgiving. We were, uh, you know, going to see some family and 
uh, had to cancel. Sister had to cancel. Uh, a lot of people had to cancel their plans. Uh, specifically within the last like three or four weeks. The end of October around Halloween was probably the last time where you could do any kind of gathering. And even Halloween wasn't something we weren't willing to give up. There were still parties happening, costume parties happening, right? Uh, Some people were being responsible. A lot of people weren't because it's Halloween. We're not going to, don't be afraid of the virus, you guys. Both sides are preaching that whole thing. They have different, you know, following statements, for Trump, it's don't be afraid of the virus because uh, look at me. I'm rich and I, uh, I got you know the top of the line health care. And if you work hard enough, you can earn uh, health care and you'll be fine. So just work hard. Don't be afraid of the virus. Um, to the Democrats, it's we got you. We're not doing anything, but let's just say that we got you. Let's throw a couple platitudes out there and then we'll say orange man bad. But don't be afraid of the virus because the Democrats are here. What are the Democrats doing? Don't worry about that. People are still traveling. They, you know, uh, cases are going up, deaths are going up, and people are still traveling. I'm not even here to say please don't uh, because I know that Americans won't because that need for tradition is so vehemently strong in Americans. And, And look, I... I'm, I'm not even saying, like, fuck your family traditions or any of that sort of stuff. I'm just saying this is not the year for it. There were a lot of traditions and norms that a lot of people had to give up, including myself. First of all, I, I like, had to completely change the way I approached my career. And then just change my, essentially, like become go back to where I was five or six years ago in order to make ends meet because I can't be a full-time touring comedian right now. Entertainers all across the country had to give up their livelihood and and to go to something different in order to make sure that, that themselves and their families are taken care of. Venues did the same thing. Small businesses had to adjust and do the same thing. You know, and, and, and we can't give up a turkey dinner for one year. You can't do a little virtual hangout. Can't be with your, your housemates or your, you know, your immediate family, your quarantine. You have to do a big get together. And as with all of the other holidays, Thanksgiving will cause a spike. They all have. What makes you say that the pattern is now going to change? Because it's Thanksgiving? We are in the midst of uh, wave two, which is hitting us harder than wave one. It didn't have to. We could have put a lot of plans in place we could have said, hey, we're putting travel advisories starting at the end of October. Please limit your gatherings to under 10 people. Wear a mask, and if you're traveling from state to state, you're gonna need to prove that you got a test and it came out negative 72 hours earlier. There has to be a way to check and enforce this stuff. Is that the right thing to do? I'm not sure. A country as authoritarian as America, I don't particularly trust, will do the right thing in terms of morality when it comes to breaching privacy. Just this notion of national security is always turned or th- thrown around, right? That was that was a reason why people gave up their rights in 9/11. After 9/11 happened, national uh, security and. Um, you know, uh, we we xenophobically attached any uh, attacked anybody that was brown or had a beard um, that didn't speak English. National security. Well, what do you think a ravaging virus is? 
a voracious ravaging virus and someone that is willing to not take the precautions to not uh, you know do the right thing and socially distance and wear a mask and be cautious and limit their exposure to the outdoors and bars and all of these other gatherings that that we have to limit. I would say that person is probably a threat to national security. And you have a bipartisan support, both Biden and Trump. We will not lock down the country. They both said it. Neither one of them are going to lock down the country. Well, then what do you propose to do? So we'll see what Thanksgiving yields, but I would I would recommend that uh, you know Christmas time. I I also understand the the the, the trouble that bars are having because um, it it does come down to like staffing and how do you uh, how do you take care of some people, how do you make sure that everybody is is paid up and and all that kind of all that kind of stuff. Um, when you have to restaff in the middle, that that does suck. I understand, but and and again, I'm I'm putting that onus on uh, on a governmental level, state or local, or federal. All all three levels kind of drop the ball on that front. Um, they really did, and they let small businesses down yet again in the middle of a pandemic. So I see that I see this stuff like on local news about about, you know, bars and restaurants and stuff that are like, we don't know what to do. Like we're, you know, we're staffed to uh, accommodate people because we know that's one of our busy days. But we're going into another stay at home thing and people aren't going to come out, you know. There is no governmental relief right now. And there doesn't look to be one on the horizon because politicians are too busy performing and thumping their chests against each other. They're rich. They can, they're can. they fine. Nancy Pelosi's fine. Chuck Schumer, Mitch McConnell, Donald Trump, Joe Biden, they're fine. They have Cadillac health insurances, top-of-the-line fucking doctors to, to rescue them from COVID-19 if they get it. You and your family, uh, I mean, Ameri- there, there's still hundreds of millions of Americans that can't afford health insurance or have a health insurance, and it does dick all for them. Maybe Christmas we don't need to celebrate. Or if you do celebrate Christmas, celebrate it with people that you live with. Your or uh, your your quarantine, and do something small. And when all of this shit is over, we can go back to you know hyper consumerism. That's what it all boils down to. It boils down to consumerism. They want you to spend your money on some shit. It stimulates that economy. Fucking Sophie's choice at this pan- that that capitalism has made you choose. Not even this pandemic. This pandemic made it pretty evident that we need more um, social programs and initiatives in place to ensure that we don't have a total collapse of the middle class of of working class people. Maybe Christmas and New Year's, America will 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 do the logical thing. And not travel from state to state. Each state having a different guideline for what is and isn't acceptable during a fucking global pandemic. Because freedoms. And you'll stay at home. You'll have a smaller get-together. And just not consume. 
Hey, what's up everybody? Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed the content in this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. My content is highly suppressed because this is not topics of conversation that uh, that the corporate mainstream media really wants to, to, to address here. So make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Uh, sign up for my email list. Uh, and that way you'll get weekly uh, uh, emails with all of the podcasts and all of the videos that I put out there. Um, and make sure you go to my website and follow me there, uh, krishmohanhaha.com. That's going to be your one-stop shop for all things Krish Mohan. That's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A.com. See you in the next video.